Hi, my name is Sam, and welcome to my Tiny Glade series. Tiny Glade is an up-and-coming building game where you create your own cozy castles and homes. The game is currently in a demo phase, which is free to download. I don't know when the full game will be released, but so far I'm in love with the cute graphics and elegant simplicity of the game. Today, we'll be building a third home in our summer meadow. In the first video, and the second, I mentioned that users will be given a starting structure each time they open a new file in Tiny Glade. The demo seems to have three starting structures, and here is the third, which starts with this asymmetrical tower. I feel like out of the three, this one is my favorite. It could be because it inspired me to create a little bit of a different aesthetic than the first and second builds. I went with a little bit of a more Moroccan infusion style. Um, it's not obviously 100% accurate, but I definitely think you can kind of get the vibe or the feel <laughs> that that was what I was trying to achieve here. So I'm starting with the entry of my home. I really like the look of the round porch, so I decided to stick one in here. I think it's also really cool to mix the two building structures to create a juxtaposition. I, um, I'm wondering if in the future we may get a few more building structures, but I also don't really know what they would look like. Um, the majority of castles and cottages only either seem to have a silo or a rectangular structure, so I'm not really sure if different types of building structures would be included or not um, but I guess I would also be more than happy to just play around with the two. So um, with the juxtaposition in mind I also wanted to make sure my building looks cohesive um, so it kind of adds to the fun trying to mesh the two together which is why I added that second sort of silo to the right hand side and now I am playing with the roofs which I think is really what makes this build have that Moroccan feel. It's probably the only the only thing that makes it have the Moroccan feel other than the kind of warm colors that I choose um, to paint the building. But yeah, so the structure is put in place and now I decided to add a little bit more to the front. I wanted to create kind of like either a shed or maybe it would be a carriage house. Um, so I'm playing around with that little structure now. And here in particular is where I really, really wish we had the ability to simply move and relocate structures instead of having to pull at the sides and kind of move it that way. I mean, I guess I could have deleted the structure and just replaced it, but um, I didn't want to do that apparently. But the structure's there now. I got it, I think. Probably a lot of it was cut out um, when I edited the video, but yeah, so I'm just working on that little structure at the front. I'm going to add some lights and some details, work on the garden a little bit, and then, um, yeah, soon the building will be complete. So I hope you enjoy. I'm going to let you kind of hang out here, listen to the sounds of this game, which I really enjoy the sounds. It's kind of soothing, especially, um, I really, really like the sound of the walls, like the bricks moving and stuff like that. So I don't know whether or not you will like it, but I will let you listen to it regardless. And uh, we'll catch up closer to the end of the video.
So I'm just adding in some final details into my build. I hope you enjoyed my third build in Tiny Glade and maybe I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.